Dylan Thompson Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. It's Sunday afternoon, and the sun is setting as I'm taking these photos. Look at it over there to the left. See it? Absolutely gorgeous Sunday afternoon in the great state of Kentucky. All right. Surely I've got some of you guys wanting to move to this area. Surely, by now. So I'm always blown away at Class A motorhomes. So you guys know I'm partial to Super C motorhomes. That's mainly what I sell. That's mainly what we focus on. But I'm always blown away at the Class A's at how much thought, how much thought of the cabinetry layout the storage box space. I mean, these guys, if there's an inch and a half to use, they use an inch and three quarters. They figured it out. And it, of course, it's probably just years of building them, right? This is a 2019 Fleetwood Bounder 35K for kilo, okay? 2019 Fleetwood Bounder 35K. I've done the math. I think it sleeps about eight people, okay? And I'm going to show you when we go on the inside how I came up with that. One owner, 2019 model, 6,400, 6,500 miles, mint, mint, guys. And this is not one that came in and, and you know, needed a huge detail either. This guy kept this coach inside, and it shows the exterior is in unbelievable condition. But, there's a but. Let me pause just a second. I always show you all the good and everything, which, of course, I'm trying to sell the motorhome, so that's natural, right? But I'm going to show you some of the bad. So, we are actually going to replace this window. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the picture. Does that look foggy? Can you see kind of a fog? Well, in the photos online, it's real bad. So we are replacing the right front window in this motorhome. And as we go around, I'm going to show you one more thing that I had to order for it. So that will be included. We, we really, really strive for excellence. And I don't like turning out something, especially if I know there's a problem now. You know, there's going to be, we're, I say we bat a nine and a half out of a 10. So there's going to be a couple things we miss occasionally. And trust me, we stand behind what we sell. But I know that window, it was real fogged up the other day. Then it went back to real clear. Then it fogged up again. So it's coming out and a new one going in. Michelin tires all the way around, 22 and a half inch wheels. And we are going to put a new set of steers. They're dated 18. It's the year now, it's 2023, so they're five years old. We're fixing to be on 24, so they'll be six years old. Now, the drives, I'm going to leave those. There's no dry cracking. Again, this coach has been stored indoors. Uh, again, 22 and a half inch wheels on the back. The drives are good. In my opinion, you can go a little longer on the drives, but when the steers get uh, four, five, six years old, you know, you got two of them up front. You blow one out, and it's... Hold on, Shirley. You can it can take you for a ride. Very dangerous. So we're gonna put a brand new pair of steers on. Five thousand pound towing capacity. Now that's one thing on a class A that the Super C's uh, Super C coaches really exceed on is the towing capacity. But depending on what you're hauling, you might just be hauling a you know towing your F one fifty behind this thing, or you can pull a small trailer, a little 18, 20 foot enclosed, probably even a twenty four foot enclosed. Okay. Two slides, so you got one, as we uh, saw, on the driver's side coming around, and then one back here in the bedroom. Now, what is the second thing that I've ordered for this coach? Can you tell? The tail light bezel. And guess what? Probably 15, 20 bucks to manufacture that. I, actually, I'm going to say 100. It is painted. I'm going to say 100. Guess how much? Shipped $335. Anyways, I'm not complaining, just saying. So that is on order, and it will be replaced before the coach leaves. Again, it's a 2019 model, 6,500 miles, and mint. When I say mint from the roof to the ground, it is mint. Uh, it does have propane, so you've got a propane hot water heater. I think it's a 25-gallon tank. We'll, 
Look at the tank here in a minute when I open up the storage bays. Full body paint, outdoor entertainment. I've got the outdoor Dometic coolers in stock, and we install stuff like that. So we can put one of those on. So I'm going to run the awning out and open the storage bays. We'll cruise through those right fast, and then we'll go inside. Again, all the photos, price, everything's on the website at chasecoach.com. On a Class A, typically I take probably 200 plus pictures. So jump on there when you have a second, chasecoach.com, and all of the uh, photos, price, et cetera, is on there. Um, clear title in hand, one owner coach, and she is a cherry. Kind of like that sunset back there. How about it? All right. So hang tight. Going to open up these storage bays, go through those, and then we'll take a spin into the interior. I appreciate you watching. And before I forget, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you already have, we appreciate you. We love you. And share it with two buddies. It doesn't take just a second. Say, I am following this guy on YouTube. He's from Kentucky. He's got a little bit of an accent. Do I? I don't know. People tell me I do. And he's selling some extremely nice inventory out of beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Hang tight. Okay, got all the storage bays open. And you know, I was just thinking, I just missed the most important part of this whole thing. This is on a Ford V10 chassis. So the Triton V10 Ford engine, and let's talk about capacities. 80 gallons of gas, so it is a gas burner. Class A gas, 80 gallons of gas, 100 gallons of water, 58 gallons of gray, and 42 gallons of black. And it's about 36 foot long, and it's right under 13 foot tall. So you need a 13 foot garage door at least if you plan on keeping it inside like the previous owner did. Of course, the engine is up in the front. I'll open this up to show you just how clean this guy is. Clean as a pin, okay? Very, very, very nice. 2019 model, 6,500 miles on the clock. First bay on the driver's side is storage, and I like that the storage is all like a molded plastic I like that. Very easy to keep clean, very durable, doesn't rust. This one's your water tank. I like that it has the red ball valve down there in the bottom left-hand corner. So if you haven't used the coach in you know two or three weeks, a month, whatever, you can drain that stinky water out of there and refill it very easily. Next one back is storage, and you can see the storage goes up and over the frame rail and into the other side. I like that. Same way here, another storage bay, and these are connected together. So there's two doors, but they are connected. Little storage bay here in front of the left rear tire. Little storage behind the left rear tire. Then we got our water bay, okay? So we have TV input if you're at a campground or at your house and you're using cable, you've got some receptacles, you got your hot and cold low point drains. Uh, it's got a whole house water filter. This coach is currently winterized, so that's why that's laying there. Your sewer dumps in there, your valves. Got a little outdoor spray away. 5,500-watt Onan gas generator with very low hours, just about like the mileage. The hours on the generator is very low. 50-amp electric shore power reel with the um, surge guard automatic transfer switch with the built-in surge protection. By the way, two-inch receiver on the back. I know I said 5,000 pound towing capacity, but two-inch receiver here with your standard little seven, seven spade plug for your trailer marker lights and turn signals and all that jazz. Back here on the right rear, we have a storage compartment. You can see the rest of the ladder, which goes hooks here and gives you full access to Check on the roof or maintenance or whatever. Another storage, 25-gallon propane tank. And look how clean that is. I mean, typically on a coach, you, those things surface rust instantly. Next one up is going to be in front of the right rear tire, and this is storage. And look at there. The previous owner had bought an outdoor cover. 
I think when he bought the coach, he wasn't sure if his shop was going to be done in time. It was, but he had already bought a cover. It's included. I have no clue what it's worth. He said it was expensive. He said it was a nice cover, but it's included. Well, there you go. 418 bucks. So cover included. I would prefer you put it inside, but if you don't have a place inside, the cover beats just setting out in the elements, right? Storage here, outdoor entertainment, Bluetooth stereo, AM, FM radio. Also, we'll play a DVD in that TV. That TV is probably a 40-inch, I'm guessing. So this cover just comes down, you know, easy to access, keeps the water and stuff out. Sony speakers, 2,000-watt inverter with storage underneath, okay? So inverter is going to run the refrigerator. This coach does have the... Uh, Samsung stainless household fridge in it, and uh, the inverter runs a lot of your outlets, your TV, and stuff like that. So that is a wrap on the exterior. Let's take a look at the inside. All right, back here with you. Hey, and stick around at the end of the video. I'm going to run the slides in and show you what it looks like with the slides in. So this is a front entry. Of course, with a Class A style motorhome, you have... The, um, the, uh, the seats both swivel, big, big windshield to look out of. And again, Ford chassis, you have um, your uh, backup camera over there on the left. Steering wheel controls with uh, cruise control. Bluetooth uh, stereo system with Sirius XM on it. And then your control for your shades, your... Um, your auxiliary battery switches over there, the light switch for the headlights. Oh, and this is freaking cool. You see this, this lowers down. That's a bed. I didn't realize that. So I was in there, I was like, what is this black like track over here? Well, that's, there's lights as you can see under there and that's the wires going to them, but it has to be able to flex up and down. So look at the photos at chasecoach.com, but that is a, I'm not going to say a queen. It might be a queen. It's at least a full-size bed, but it might be a queen. Very, very nice. I like how that is because I'm six foot three. I can stand under this without my head touching it. So essentially it's not hurting anything, but if you need that extra sleeping space, you got it. Okay. So behind the driver's seat, we have a booth style dinette that the center table leaf drops down and then makes a bed for two people. Okay, we'll zoom out a little bit here. Here you go. Um, as you can see, the cabinets, very, very nice color. I love all the colors in this coach. And they've got kind of a, um, a light gloss. I'm not going to say it's a high gloss, but it's not like a matte finish, kind of a light gloss finish. So two people sleep there, seats four people easy. And I like the cup holders. That's genius. Because going down the road, what happens to your big old Coca-Cola in your styrofoam cup when, when dad swerves to miss a possum in the road? Well, you know where it goes. It goes in the floor. Kudos on the cup holders. They should do that to all of them. Now, this sofa on back, big slide out, by the way. I'm going to say every bit of a 15, 20-foot slide. This sofa is a kind of a like a J shaped now, but that end piece does not stay there. When the slide's in, that like tucks back up under the little piece in the corner. So um, here in a second, you'll see that when I run the slides in, we'll have it pushed back up in there. But this is a jackknife bed. So this little mattress, you just simply lift up on the bottom and pull out and it turns into a jackknife. Um, you have... A big uh, stainless sink, double basin. I like that. Three burner gas cooktop with a built-in oven. How about that? Uh, microwave, convection oven. I don't have the generator running, so that's why this is off. But this normally has a really neat light underneath it. Um, Samsung fridge, French door. Again, I need to fire the generator. Let me just do that. I hate when doing a video like this and... Not showing you everything. Let's see if it'll start here. Ooh. Come on, girl. There we go. All right. Battery's a little low. 
give it just a second to kick in because the fireplace, I want to show you that. The fireplace, of course, has to have either A, shore power, or B, um, the generator running to, to run that. So Samsung fridge, French door on the top, pull out freezer on the bottom. I'm pretty sure it has an ice maker in it because that's an ice tray there in the bottom. Um, I don't think this has ever been used. And if it has, they had someone cleaning that was a really good cleaner. We'll just leave it at that. So now our microwave's on. Let me hit the light. Oh, there we go. See how much better that looks? As you can see, the electric fireplace. And that's not just for looks. That actually makes heat. In fact, you can set it on like a thermostat where it'll continue making the imitation fire look, but it will put out heat. TV with a sound bar under it. Lots of cabinets, as I mentioned in the beginning, tons of cabinets in this thing, and lots of good counter space. By the way, I have the covers that go on the top of this and the cover that goes over the top of that, okay? So I've got those. They're actually down here under the sink. I just put them down there for the photos. So we've got six people sleeping up here. Two, two in the dinette, and then two on that bed that lowers down. This is a bath and a half. That's something else very important that I have failed to mention so far. Uh, bath and a half, so half bath here in the hallway. Little sink vanity, big mirror, medicine cabinet. Toilet right there with the electric flush option, like that. And I think those toilets, I could be wrong, but I think they have pedals on them as well. So you can flush electronically or with the pedal. Um, back here on, we're back on the driver's side in the master bedroom, we've got storage, lots of cabinets, big mirror, cedar lined closet, as you can see there, and tons of drawers. I like how they latch as well. Going down the road, you won't hear everything flying out into the floor. Okay, TV overhead, this TV pulls out, so there's um, some of the um, fuses and stuff back here, plus storage. Great place for a safe. I didn't see a safe in this one, but great place to put a safe. This cabinet, um, currently you can put clothing and stuff in it, but it is already prepped for a washer and dryer. Now we would have to put in like one of the all-in-one combo units because you don't have enough room for a split system, but we do keep those in stock. Um, actually, the, the coach that the guy traded this towards, that was one thing he wanted was a washer and dryer. So um, this coach is prepped, but doesn't currently have it in it. But we do, again, we do have those in stock. Got windows on each side of the bed, some storage above the bed. Oh, and storage below the bed. So there's actually a little table, as you can see, the little white table that goes up there between the driver and passenger seat. There's a an aluminum deal in the floor and that is where that goes. So again, if you'll go to our website, chasecoach.com, look at the pictures. I set it all up to show you. And then that is the ladder for the bunk. Now, if you take that stuff out, you've got tons of storage underneath the bed. Back here is the master bath. When I first walked into this bathroom, I was like, golly, that's gotta be a little shower, but it's actually not because the shower like goes in behind these cabinets. So it's actually really big, one piece, fiberglass, overhead skylight with the sliding glass doors. So very easy to clean and not splash water, not splash water all out in the floor. Place to sit, I like that little built-in seat, okay? And then over here to our left, some cabinets, um, plenty of space to put your wash cloths or rags or whatever you call them, your towels. Um, pull out drawers and everything latches really nice and tight in this one. It does have the uh, bigger sink, a little bigger sink than the one we saw in the half bath. Two doors, the big mirror, a uh, little medicine cabinet area, and again, another one of the Dometic electric flush toilet that controls over there. So, bath and a half, uh, king size bed, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna, I didn't look at that up in the specs. But I'm going to say king size bed. So a lot to offer. We've got a uh, 2019 with very low miles, 60, let's just see exactly what it is. I think it was 64 something. 
so oh, 67 excuse me 6716 miles um gonna have new steer tires i'm putting those on um because i just feel like it's safe i mean the other ones are dated 18 uh, I think it was late 18, you know, 2019 model. The chassis, I'm sure, was built in 18. So I'm going to put new steer tires on. We're going to replace this window. There you go. You can see the fogginess. See, kind of look above the mirror there. But I noticed that. See, this one over here is not like that at all. So new, new window, new steer tires, and the new tail light bezel for the right rear will be installed. I believe that covers most of it. Um, it does have two 15K BTU ACs with the electric heat pump option. And then you also have the, the furnace, propane furnace, which makes great heat. But so I've had the question a couple of times, when do you run the heat pumps in the roof? Well, you don't run them if it's like 20 degrees outside and you're looking for 70 inside. It doesn't work. Um, you do run them if, it, let's say, it's like 50 outside and you're looking for 65, 70 inside. That's a great time to run them. You don't, you don't, you know, burn through your propane. And if you're running your generator, it'll run both of them. So it's got two 15,000 BTU roof ACs with the built-in heat pumps. It has in-motion satellite. You've got a couple different roof vents. So you have one uh, in both bathrooms for sure. Um, stainless residential, stainless fridge, um, convection, microwave oven, three burner cooktop with the propane fired oven, stainless sink, sleeps eight people, and has enough room for about 20 to have a good time. I mean, you got a couple seats up here, you got four here, six, seven people there. Lot to offer. Uh, I told you in the beginning, I always think the folks on the Class A side, they've just thought it out really well. And they have a little more room to work with because, you know, on a Super C, you have a cab up here with the engine under the, the big hood sticking out. So if you say your coach is 45 foot, well, you, you lost, you know, the first 10 or 11 foot of that coach with a the, the nose of the cab, right? Um Two sets of keys, so both sets of original keys are included. It does have hydraulic leveling on it, which is a, a great option. That's kind of a standard anymore on something this nice, but figured I would mention it just so everyone knows, hydraulic leveling. All of the original manuals are also with it. So stick around just a second. We're going to run the slides in, and then we will wrap these up. Again, chasecoach.com, Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports Coach and Trailer Sales, in kind of a little dark out there, Paducah, Kentucky. It's sun setting, and I uh, run it a little close on time here. So hang out just a second, and we're going to run these slides in and show you what it looks like then. Thank you. All right, got the slides in. Here's what it would look like if you were traveling down the road. So an easy couple feet between the um, countertop and the edge of the dinette here. As I move back, it gets a little wider, about three, two and a half, three foot from the cooktop to the edge of the dinette. About two foot probably between the uh, freezer drawer and the edge of the sofa. Now, it gets a little snug right here. I'm just going to say it gets down to about a foot right here, but it still gives you enough room to open the door. The door actually opens almost all the way up and to make your way into the potty room. Okay. You can also access the bed. So you can go here, I'm going to say 18, 20 inches to get into the bedroom. So if you are wanting to take a nap, you can easily access that area without moving any slides out. So again, the probably the tightest point is between the edge of the little countertop over the fireplace. And again, it's probably still a foot. So ample room ample room with the slides in trades accepted we finance we deliver nationwide and we would love to earn your business i'm not bragging but i'm sort of bragging our stuff's a cut above okay and if, if you ever come look at something we have for sale you will see that we put a lot of effort we're not a high volume dealership 
We sell a lot of stuff, but I mean, compared to some of these guys, we're a pebble in the sand. But we strive for good customer service and um, just good quality, good clean units, serviced, make sure everything works, etc. So appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, whatever you're doing. Give it your best shot and uh, look forward to talking with you or meeting you soon. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales. Have a good one.